Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And if you are on Windows 10 version 2004, 20H2, 21H1, or the new 21H2, there is a bug fixing update that is released today. Uh, the uh, bug fixing update is optional. So of course, if you don't do anything, it's going to stay there and not install. Uh, simply head on to your Windows updates and check it out if you have problems. If you don't have any issues, you can just leave it alone and forget it. And uh, so this is another update that was released uh, today. So um, basically, the update comes in as uh, a cumulative update, which is KB 500-7253. And it is fixing a certain number of issues, uh, one about the printer problems that we've been talking about a lot, uh, some font, variable font displays incorrectly problem. Uh, if you have a 32-bit version of Excel that uh, stopped working when you export to PDF, that's fixed. Uh, some UI stuff that's uh, being tweaked and fixed in the uh, different fonts. Uh, Internet Explorer problems that uh, were fixed also. Uh, Windows Game Bar uh, that now works, uh, updates an issue that turns off the screen capture and recording functionalities um, after a service failure that's fixed. Updates an issue prevents an application that you often use often from appearing on the start menu as they should. And um, that's pretty much it. Not a lot of things to fix in here for Windows 10. But um, if you've had some issues, you might try to install it. Um, if you have nothing, like I said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just leave it alone. So this is, of course, the um, week for the uh, bug fixing updates in Windows. So Windows 11 had one, and Windows 10 has got one also. If you look at your Windows version, you should be at 19. So depending on the version you have, 19.041, 19.042, 1903, 1904.4.1387. Now I see that on the blog post at many places it said .1382, uh, so I'm not sure why I'm at 87. Maybe it's an, a, a blog post problem, but anyways, uh, if you're on 1382, it seems that it could be okay also, but I'm on .1387 here with this update. So uh, that fixes various things. Of course, it installed quite quickly. It's a small cumulative update for Windows 10. And this is, of course, uh, if you don't install it, it'll be installed automatically with the next patch Tuesday. That is December 14th, by the way. So uh, that's pretty much what it is. And uh, like I said, it doesn't fix a lot of things. For most people, probably this is not worth you know checking out, really. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.